is what we call a muscala. Hi, my name is Ben. This is Yalabina Concertina. So I found out about a new world record breaking bridge that's just been opened here in Cairo and I wanted to check it out. And as I was checking it out online, I discovered all these media outlets are wrong. Okay, so here we are, I'm nearly at the bridge. You can see it behind me, it's quite impressive. And I want to answer them some questions. What was it that all these news outlets got wrong? What is the correct piece of information? How did they get it wrong? Does it matter? Who cares? And what can we learn from this? Let's go. Still left it wrapped up. Really interested to know what these chimneys are. They're not used anymore. That building at the bottom has seen better days. There's one over there. One there. There's another one there. And there's one on the other side of the bridge, behind the uh, truck. Uh, I'm intrigued as to know what they were, presumably like brick, brick making factories, brick factories. Don't know. So another little bizarre thing, when construction companies in Egypt want to buy new, new like cranes and diggers and you know, machinery, they don't buy new, they buy it second hand, like this one here from the UK, which is actually from the very town they used to live in, which I think is quite funny. Just recorded a little bit of footage of a footprint that was put in the wet concrete. And a man comes by and tells me it's a footprint. Thanks. There's people here with professional photographers, or semi-professional, with light reflectors. They're doing actual photo shoots. Seriously, man, this road just keeps going. So I tried to turn around and go back on that bridge the other way. I've ended up on Road El Farag Axis, going away from the city. And I don't know how that happened. And there are no exits. There's just no exits on this road. Without giving you too much information, just stopped at the side of the road to go to the toilet. What I found, presumably a sheep, Backbone. It's pretty cool. You never know what you're going to find in Cairo. I may have gone the wrong way, but it's quite a pretty place to have gone the wrong way. This is what we call a mushkella. The bike's just cut out. No idea why. Fortunately, this new road has a shoulder. I took some of this, this panelling off and I discovered I could short circuit something and make the bike start. That seems like a bit of a workaround. It's not a good thing to do. Uh, you can see what it's doing to my uh, screwdriver. But it gets me moving, and at the moment, that's what counts. 
let's go and record that bridge. I don't think it's very clear in the video quite what was going on. Let me explain. My intention was to drive from the east side to the west side filming, turn around, come back, film it the other way. But it didn't quite go according to plan. On the west side, there's nowhere to turn around and you have to keep going, going, going for several miles before there's an opportunity to turn around. And even then, it's not so simple as to come off under a bridge and back again. And I ended up back on the same road, going the same way. And things then got a bit worse. Uh, the bike stopped, as you saw. Um, and on the video, it looks like it, it was just a couple of minutes and it was an easy peasy thing. Uh, I was about half an hour figuring out how to get that bike started. And truth be told, I was starting to get a little bit worried. I was a long way from home um, and my bike, my transport wasn't working. Uh, but, whew, kept a level head, got it sorted. So, what is it that's wrong? So these websites, I've written them here so I don't uh, get anything wrong. Um, Egypt Today, Egypt Independent, Akram Online, Babasha, not heard of that one before. Um, face to Face Africa, Middle East Architect, they should know better. What's up Cairo, Egyptian Streets, Daily News Egypt, Cairo Scene, Cairo 360, ArabNews.com. They all have said this is the world's widest suspension bridge, but... Goodness me, Cairo's noisy. Come somewhere a bit quieter to film this bit. Well, quite simply, it is not the world's widest suspension bridge because it's not a suspension bridge. It is actually a cable stayed bridge. There we have it. Cable stay bridge. Now, engineering wise and architecturally, there's quite a lot of differences, but most people don't know or care about those differences. And I understand that, that's absolutely fine. But if I'm going to be looking on the internet for these details and these facts, I want to know that they are right. So what is the difference? Well, with a cable stay bridge, you can have any number of columns, not just two, although this bridge has two, and then from those columns, you have these diagonal cables coming off the column to hold up the bridge. Let's look at a suspension bridge. Now I've looked all around for a suspension bridge in Egypt, and I think the only one, I might be wrong, but I think the only one is here in the zoo. This was, I believe, the first, the first uh, zoo, certainly in Egypt, possibly in North Africa. I, I don't know, it's old, like a hundred years old. Um, and some of the architecture here is actually quite quite phenomenal. So I've got my got the map here. Strangely, they don't mark the suspension bridge. That, that's the important bit. Don't mind the animals. Where are we? You are here. Over there. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. A wonderful bird is the pelican, whose beak can hold more than his belly can. He can hold in his beak enough food for a week. And I'm damned if I know how the hell he can. So there we go, that's it. The suspension bridge in Egypt. Um, you can see the distinctive uh, curve of the main cable, which, which then holds up the rest of the bridge. In fact, there's one cable uh, just by the sign there. That one's actually broken, which might explain why there's gates at both ends now and we can't go and see it. Um, I'll try and get up there a little bit. This was uh, completed in 1911 and it was designed by Gustav Eiffel and you will recognize that name as in Eiffel Tower. It's the same guy who designed the Eiffel Tower in France, designed this bridge. I told you there's some cool architecture in here and there's many other bits and pieces but that's for another video. did it happen? Well, it's actually quite a boring answer, quite a simple answer, and that is that in Arabic, there is really no word to distinguish between a suspension bridge and a cable stay bridge. But it does raise a, an interesting point. To me, it was a big detail. It was an important detail as, as someone interested in architecture and engineering. Um, to most people, it was nothing. 
But if we are looking to the internet for these small details, we've got to check that those details are actually correct. We cannot share something if we're not absolutely 100% sure. Here's an example. This picture here is often shared on Facebook in the UK. It's two pictures of our parliament, one when it's empty, one when it's full. And the caption is under the empty one. This is when they're discussing, pick a topic, disability benefits or improving housing in poor areas. And then in the crowded one, this is when they're discussing their own pay. Rarely is it true. I don't think they've been true at all. But people share them without checking. Check before you share. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's earned it, please hit subscribe. If not, no worries. Until next time, Masalama, Shukran, Robin and Mikey.